Alright, so is the Bandicoot Pass for Crash on the Run worth it? Well, to be honest, it actually pretty much is if you compare it to what you get from spending money in other parts of the shop. Now, as a quick disclaimer, you don't have to spend real money in a game as it is not necessary to have fun. It is entirely optional if you want to support the developers of the game. So coming back to the Battle Pass, for a respectable sum of only $5, the value you get from the Battle Pass is honestly pretty insane. Now as you can see, there are multiple rewards you can get from it as you collect trophies to unlock them. Now I'm not going to go through every single reward, but only those that really matter if you are deciding to purchase it or not. Now there are a total of 30 levels in this battle pass and these are the main thing to look out for, which are the skins, the survival tickets and of course the crystals. Let's talk about these three first and we're gonna start off with the skins. You will get a total combination of 5 rare and epic skins and 1 legendary skin in the end which is the retro space crash. We know that skins actually give off a really big boost in terms of material collections and such and I would highly recommend you to spend your crystals on skins if you have them, especially legendary ones, which I'll be covering in my other video. So this is already sounding pretty good, considering that a legendary skin in the shop cost around 400 crystals. Moving on, let's talk about the survival tickets. You will get a whopping 36 tickets upon reaching level 28. Now if you compare it to the store, 36 tickets is roughly about 1,410 crystals worth of value. So yeah, you are saving a lot of money with the battle pass. Plus, these tickets can actually help you gain more trophies for your battle pass, which would boost up your level even more. Now, finally, of course, let's move on to the crystals itself. In this battle pass, you will get a total of 260 crystals upon reaching level 25, which is pretty good. And if we sum everything up, which includes the survival tickets, the skins and the crystals itself together, it's a minimum estimate of 2,400 crystals worth of reward. And I didn't even include the other material bonuses that you get as a battle pass reward as well. And if you compare it to the store, 2,400 crystals normally cost about $85 in the store. So $85 versus a $5 battle pass? Yeah, I would obviously pick the battle pass. But remember, I can't emphasize this enough. The battle pass is not necessary to enjoy the game. I don't encourage you to spend money on the game unless you really enjoy it and want to support it. I'm just giving my insight on this for those of you who wants to spend money in this game and for those of you who wants to look for an honest review. And by the way, do let me know down below, did you actually get the battle pass yourself? I would love to see what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And for those free to play players, I will be releasing a crystal spending guide so you will know what to and what not to buy from the store with your crystals, so stay tuned. And while you're still here, do check out my other videos as well as you might enjoy them just as much as I did in making them. This is the Viprint signing off, thanks for watching and stay awesome.